Hello and welcome to Latin Limits. I'm Joe Van, and today we're going right back to Willie Steakhouse for another edition of Nelson Santos y La Banda Quieres. So, relax, check it out, let's go.
explored onto the music scene in the mid-1940s through the collaboration of Mario Bausa and Machito and his Afro-Cubans. But it was uh, Dizzy Gillespie's collaboration with the great conga player Chano Bozo that gave Latin jazz his identity through the musical compositions of Tim Pindero, Cubana B, Cubana Bop, and of course Manteca. But it was in the late 1950s and early 60s that uh, Latin jazz became more definable through artists such as uh, Willie Bobo, Herbie Mann, Cal Jeter, and of course, Mungo Santa Maria. In the 70s and 80s, of course, uh, Latin jazz sort of went underground with the emergence of what is now known as salsa. Currently, we have artists like Valentin, Giovanni, Paquito de Rivera, uh, who have joined with uh, uh, superstars such as Tito Puente, Eddie 
Tommy Ray Barreto, who will enjoy the engaging in the musical challenges of Latin jazz. And now, uh, young, talented salsa musicians who cannot, uh, can no longer uh, find opportunities for self-musical expression in salsa have been drawn more and more to Latin jazz as a means for self-identity uh, and musical uh, creativity. Um, um, with that in mind, the Bronx has become the home base for a Latin jazz renaissance through the emergence of uh, Latin jazz supper clubs like Yuli Steakhouse uh, that are providing opportunities and exposure for young, talented Latin jazz artists such as Nelson Sanchez and La Banda Chess. So without further ado, let's go back and check them out.
Thank you. 